If you can't be bothered to work out who it is you want an introduction to, what makes you think somebody else is going to do that for you? <laughs> Before you can start to receive any decent referrals within BNI, there are, there are five things that you really need to satisfy. Now, the first is, do the other members like you? Second is, do they trust you? Third is, do they know and understand what you do? The fourth is, do they know who you are looking for? And the fifth is, do they know how to introduce you? Only once you've satisfied all five of those criteria will you start to get decent referrals. So let's go through those one at a time. Do they like you? Now, not everybody in your BNI chapter is going to like you. And that's not a problem. That's not a problem because you don't want to try to be liked by everybody. You don't want to tone down your personality and your brand so that everybody kind of likes you because then you're going to start working with anybody and you'll end up working with people who you don't actually get on with, people who don't align with your values. It's important to be who you are, to be who you want to be so that you attract what's called your tribe the people who like you and are like you, because then it's much easier to work with people who are of a similar mindset. So don't worry if not everybody likes you, not everybody wants to refer you. That's perfectly fine. But people need to like you in order to refer you. Otherwise, they're, they're just not going to refer to you if they don't like you and they don't get on with you. The second one is, do they trust you? Now, that can be a different thing. You can like someone and not trust them. We all know those people who are wonderful to be around, they're wonderful to have a conversation with, they might be in your B&I chapter. They're great to meet, you'd love to go out with, them with for a drink, for a beer, because they tell the best stories. But if you were to give them a referral, are they going to follow it up properly? Are they going to turn up on time at the client or customer's premises? Are they going to communicate properly on phone or WhatsApp or email? Are they going to do a reliable job and invoice correctly? You know, you're just not quite sure, or maybe you've had a bad experience before, where they've, they've let you down, but they are still a lovely person and you like them and you want to be around them. You just wouldn't put them in front of your best client. So do they like you and do they trust you? Now, you can lose trust in BNI in a lot of different ways. For example, you could turn up late to meetings regularly. You could have lots of absences and just not be a kind of reliable person who shows up. You could forget about one-to-ones or turn up late for one-to-ones. That shows someone isn't reliable. And how you do one thing is how you do everything, as we've discussed on, on previous videos. So you can lose your trust by not being a reliable person within BNI. So do they like you? Do they trust you? The third one is, do they know what you do? Now, this may seem obvious, but if you're an accountant, everybody kind of knows what an accountant does. If you're a web designer, everybody sort of knows what a website does. But if you're a web designer does, sorry, but if you're in digital marketing, you might have different skills and different products or services that you have that differentiate you from others. If you are a plumber, for example, you might work with gas or not, depending on what you're involved with. There are lots of different services that you may have in your business that not everybody realizes what you do. So you need to educate your fellow members on what you do, the services that you have, and how you do it. Because if they don't understand what you do, then they're not gonna be able to refer you. Now, if you're one of those highly technical categories, maybe you're in some kind of uh, software development or some kind of coaching that's very niche, you need to be very clear on what you do. You don't have to tell your other members the minutia of how you do it and the day-to-day -day of what you do, but they need to understand the benefit of what you do to your clients. Otherwise, they cannot refer you because if they're confused, they're just not going to ask. So that's do they like you, do they trust you, and do they understand what you do? The fourth one is do they know who you are looking for? If you turn up at a BNI every week and you just say, hi, I'm Darren from EngageWeb, we build websites and we're looking for companies that need websites. 
that's not really going to cut it because other people don't know who I'm looking for. They don't know the kind of businesses that I want to speak to. So you need to find out who your ideal target client is. What kind of businesses do you want to talk to? What kind of businesses do you work with now? If you're business to consumer, then you need to profile the kind of customers that you want introductions to. So yes, you can't say, I want to speak to Mr. Jones at 42 Acacia Avenue, obviously, but you can say, I want to speak to a gentleman, he's aged between 40 and 50, he drives a high-spec car like a BMW or an Audi, he's married, he's got at least two children, and he's the MD of his company. You can profile them like that so people know who you're looking to be introduced to. Obviously, the more specific you can be, the better. And there are loads of businesses, again, within b and you'll hear them every week, who are never specific. They say, I'm looking for introductions to anybody, or I'm just looking for instructions to business owners, or high net worth individuals, or something like that. And let me ask you this. If you can't be bothered, if you can't be bothered to work out who it is you want an introduction to, what makes you think somebody else is going to do that for you? Yeah? So if you can't do the research into the specific company you want an introduction to and find out the name of the person that you need to be introduced to, if you can't be bothered to do that, why is someone else going to do it for you? You need to put that effort in so that you can tell people who you're looking to speak to. So do they like you? Do they trust you? Do they understand what you do? And do they know who you are looking to be introduced to? And the fifth one, and this is the one everybody seems to forget, do they know how to introduce you? It's all very well knowing that I'm looking for this particular person at this particular company and another member in your BNI goes, well, I actually know them. I'll speak to them. And they go, yes, Darren from Engage Web wants to speak to you. Yeah, why? Oh, I don't know. He's a web designer or something. He said something about wanting to do your website. We've already got a web designer. Oh, okay, then I'll tell him. That's useless. You need to tell them how to introduce you, how to start the conversation, and how to make them want to speak with you. It's obvious why you want to talk to them. If you're a plumber and they're a landlord, you want to do work for them. If you're a business coach and they're a training provider, you want to do training and coaching for them. If you're a web designer and they're an MD of a business, you want to do a website for them. It's obvious why you want to speak to them. Why do they want to speak to you? Because if they don't have a reason to speak to you, then the conversation isn't going to go anywhere. So you need to work that out for yourself. Why does that person want to talk to you? And you need to educate your fellow BNI members into that reason. So those are the five things you have to nail down in order to get proper referrals from BNI. So you need to make sure that your fellow members like you. You need to make sure that they trust you. You need to make sure that they know and understand what you do. You need to make sure that they know who it is that you want to be introduced to, and you need to make sure that they know how to introduce you. Once you've done those five things, you'll get a lot more referrals through BNI. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.